Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Acura RDX, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that really easy install for you. You'll need the tools seen here to complete your installation. So Acura did a really good job on making this install easy for us. They have a pre-wired plug right behind the panels right here on the driver's side. If we pull down on this panel right here, and right up in here, we have a blue plug. That is our tow harness that we will be using. So to bring our wiring harness through our cargo area to that point, we're gonna start by removing our floor covering. Next, we'll remove the rear threshold. It's held in by these two pins, and we'll remove it using a trim panel removal tool. Now we'll remove our rear threshold by just pulling up on it. Next, we'll need to remove the spare tire. Next, we're gonna remove this foam tray on the driver's side. It's held in by a, a pin right here, and there's a push pin back here. So we'll start with this rear pin, and we'll use a trim panel removal tool. For the forward push pin, First, we'll have to push the center in, and then we can go ahead and remove it. And now we can pull up on these side panels and remove our, our tray. Now we're ready to plug in our wiring harness. We're gonna bring it up underneath, and then we'll go ahead and plug that in. Now in our fuse holder, we're gonna go ahead and install our included 10 amp fuse. Now that our wiring is all plugged in, let's go ahead and show you where you can store your four flat harness. Your first option is to leave it in your cargo area. You can leave it by the spare tire and pull it out through the weather seal of your trunk when you need to use it. Your second option, which we'll show you how to do, is how to bring it underneath your vehicle and mount it next to your hitch. So right back here in the cargo area, we have a grommet large enough for us to bring the wiring down. So we'll go ahead and remove that. And then we'll take our four flat harness and we'll go ahead and push it down. Now to reinstall our grommet, we're gonna cut a slit halfway through using some tin snips. Now we'll take our four flat wire and we'll put it inside that slit and reinstall our grommet. To seal the cut, you can use some black silicone. Now that we are done in the cargo area, we'll go ahead and put it back together. Now we are underneath our vehicle on the ramps and we'll go ahead and show you how to get your four flat harness back to the receiver. Our four flat wiring comes down right behind this cross member. We'll bring it up and over the cross member. So our best and safest route is to bring it over the heat shield. That way we avoid the exhaust and damaging our wire. So we're just gonna bring it right above here and then we'll follow the heat shield all the way to the end. So it's difficult to see the whole heat shield but once you continue to pull the wire through, it'll come up right here next to the hitch. Now that we have our four flat harness next to our receiver, we're gonna secure it using a four flat mounting bracket. Now our U-Haul hitch comes with a mounting plate welded to it for our bracket. So we're gonna go ahead and install it on that. And we'll go ahead and bring our hardware into place. And then we'll put our nuts on. We'll tighten it up using a 3 8 socket. And now we'll attach our dust cover. And we'll bring it into place. In the engine compartment on the driver's side, we're gonna check our fuse box for our trailer fuse. 
Once you've located your trailer fuse, if you do not have it, our kit does come with a 10 amp fuse that you can insert in there to power your wiring. Now that our wiring is all powered up, you're ready to tow a trailer. Thank you for watching our video. If you need more information on this product, or if you'd like to schedule a hitch installation with a U-Haul hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul hitch center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.